Where are you now? Where would you like to be? Let Center Holidays help you get there. Whether you want to travel by bicycle, boat, bus, car, plane, ship, train, or walkabout, Center Holidays is a nationwide full-service travel service. Hi, I'm Lee, your travel guide and consultant for Center Holidays Burnaby. No matter how or where you wish to travel, I would like to make your trip as enjoyable and comfortable and memorable as possible. When it comes to travel, Western Canada is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Today's video is a mixture of photographs from along the Sea to Sky Highway. We start off building a head of steam. <laughs> oh, I guess that dates me. They haven't used steam on the Whistler Run since they mothballed the Royal Hudson. But that's where we are going today, aboard the Rocky Mountaineer on their Whistler Sea to Sky climb. Today we'll ride in luxury aboard a gold leaf car. After we leave the new train yards in Vancouver, we have to cross the Burrard Inlet at the Second Narrows. After passing under the Lionsgate Bridge, we pass the ever popular Ambleside Park in the city of West Vancouver. Passing Horseshoe Bay, we see one of the large ferries coming in from Vancouver Island. And looking north along Howe Sound, that's the film location for the TV series Beachcombers and the movie Free Willy. Widening of the Sea to Sky Highway had to be done very carefully to avoid dropping debris on the train tracks below. A southbound Rocky Mountaineer approaches Porto Cove, a popular spot for scuba divers. Morning fog rises off the waters of Howe Sound as we approach Britannia Beach. A tandem axle ore truck is part of the exhibit at the BC Museum of Mining. The original mill building has been given a new metal coat, one of the few commercial enterprises in the little community. I was trying to get a picture of the Snow Top Valley, but I had to wait for the train to pass, a forerunner of the present-day Rocky Mountaineer. Standing on the tracks, not a safe thing to do, I got a picture of the now-closed wood fiber plant. Now that wood fiber is closed, these loading docks at Squamish sit idle except for the visit from the odd naval vessel. This rock formation is known as the Chief. It is a popular spot for rock climbing, offering faces for both beginners and experts. The Squamish Adventure and Tourist Information Center. A flow control dam on the Chicamas River. Damming up the river created Daisy Lake. Entering the town of Whistler, beneath one of the ski lifts, we see a cinnamon bear. In the center of the town is a lovely lake called Lost Lake. However, I think it has been found. On the north side of Whistler, we can see some of the town's buildings along the shore of Green Lake. If you wish to explore more of British Columbia, Rocky Mountaineer has other routes. One going as far east as Calgary, Alberta, and one going as far south as Seattle, Washington. Or you could switch trains in Jasper, Alberta, and go as far west as Prince Rupert, BC, or as far east as Halifax, Nova Scotia via Via Rail. For a train ride that will leave you with a lifetime of memories, ask me about Rocky Mountaineer. Send me an e, lee at centerholidays.com. 